All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today, I wanna to show you the Green Joy Indoor Hydroponic System. So this is something that I have been, uh, been running for a few weeks now, and I've been super excited to show you guys uh, as part of our Indoor Grow Week. If you haven't checked out the mini aquaponics system that we did earlier this week, I'll put a link to that in the description. But today we're gonna to talk about hydroponics, which is another type of indoor growing or a growing system. Uh, if you're not familiar with hydroponics, basically what we're using here is a small reservoir of water uh, that has a nutrient solution in it. So basically there's just a nutrient solution sitting in here of water. I'm gonna show you in depth on this here in a minute. But the roots of the plants just grow out of the, uh, the bottom of these little baskets and they just hang out in the nutrient solution, the, the water in there, and they grow. And the nice thing about hydroponics is that uh, if you use the right solution, they have 100% of the nutrients that they need, so they're, they're never lacking in anything. They have all the water that they need, they have all the nutrients that they need, and so generally, if, if everything is right in your system, you get just about the best possible growth that you could get out of a plant. Uh, now we're just growing lettuce in here. Uh, leafy greens are a great thing to grow in these smaller uh, indoor systems. But I'll take you guys in and show you some of the details. This is a, a completely self-contained grow module and uh, it's pretty neat to have around the house. So let me show you uh, some of the details of the system. All right, so let's get the lights turned on here. So this thing is 100% self-contained and, and it's all automatic. So you, all you do is plug it in and once you turn the light on, the system starts and it runs on a 14 hour uh, on timer and that's just continuous. So as long as it's plugged in, it'll con you know continue to, to keep that light cycle for you. There's also up in the top right behind this is a little fan that just kind of keeps air circulating as well as cooling the LED lights down. But it's got a full grow light built in, all LEDs up there in the top. And it's also worth noting that these are stackable. So you can get as many of these as you want and you can stack them up and put them next to you. You can create a whole wall of these things, which is pretty cool. So the system comes with a bunch of these little squares, these little sponge squares with a dip in the middle. And this is where you start your seeds. So you just take these and uh, place them in this little dish that came with it. You fill it with water, throw your seeds in there so that they're covered with water a little bit, and then they'll start to sprout. And then after a few days, you'll see roots starting to come out the bottom. This one hasn't quite come through yet. You can kind of see some roots starting to come out of that one. And after the roots will, uh, will be able to touch the water, then you go ahead and transplant it into the system. And as you can see, I mean, this is only a couple weeks from the point I planted these seeds. They already have a great, great root system in there. And you can see the water level in there. All you have to do is just make sure that you keep the water level high enough where the uh, uh, bottom of the cup touches the water and these plants will grow continuously. Now it comes with a few of these plugs. You don't want any light getting through underneath to the water because you'll get algae growth in there. And so these are just covers for any of the spots that we don't have a seed in right now. And so as soon as these ones are big enough, we'll pop them into the squares. The whole system is pretty easy to run and, and get set up. Uh, initially, you know, once you get these planted in here, or once you're ready to plant your seedlings in there, you just take the nutrient solution, they give you a mixing uh, recipe, and you put uh, some of nutrient solution A, and then some of nutrient solution B in, into a, a mixture of water. Um, again, they give you the recipe for that, and then you just uh, pour it into an open slot here and just fill it up. Um, once it's full, all you have to do is just kind of keep, keep track of your water level in there. And uh, once it starts to get low, just mix up another batch of nutrient solution and fill it back up again. So this will run continuously and just continue to produce food for you. So they do suggest that uh, once your crops have been growing and you, you kind of get your harvest out of it, that you should, you know, maybe every few months uh, empty the system out and clean everything out and then refill it and start another crop again. There's actually a, a little pump in there and it comes with a tube that you just connect to that pump. So this whole uh, lid, this whole top comes off and you can connect that, uh, that pump and then uh, you can pump the water out. So you don't have to you know, try to pour it out or anything like that. So it pumps the water out and makes it neat, nice and easy to clean. So the whole system is pretty easy to set up out of the box. I mean, it comes in a couple pieces. These uh, side corners get put in and then the roof uh, gets put in on the top there with the LED lights and everything. You plug it in and then uh, once you're ready to start planting, you fill it with water and, and put in your, um, your bottom plate here with all the little cups. And uh, it it's really it only takes a few minutes to get everything kind of set up and, and ready to plant. Now, of course, you would need to reorder these little squares, uh, you know, each time you did a replanting. Uh, I plan on running the lettuce in here for at least 
you know, three or four months and we'll just keep harvesting off of that until, until I see a need to, to clean it or, or take that, that lettuce out. But this stuff will keep growing and, and providing food for us. So, so you can plant up to 15 plants in here at a time and you could do, of course, a variety of things. But uh, right now we'll just stick with, with lettuce. So for the time that it takes has been, it has been about um, three weeks, I believe, two and a half to three weeks since I planted this system. So uh, if you start with good seeds and you keep this wet, these will start sprouting after just, uh, you know, a few days. And then it takes a few more days, maybe a full week for them to be big enough where they'll uh, have roots that come out of the bottom and then they can be put into the system. Once they are put in the system and the roots start to take hold, these, this stuff grows super quick. Like I said, you got everything that you need to, you know, for these plants to grow. And so they're growing as fast as genetically possible. They, they should have every resource, you know, they should have the perfect amount of light, the perfect amount of nutrients and the perfect amount of water to just grow at, at their optimal rate. And so you really cannot grow if the system is done correctly and your nutrients are good and everything. You can't grow faster than this. This is really the, the optimal fastest way to grow uh, these, these plants. So the nutrient solution that it comes with, like I said, you have to mix some of this uh, solution A and B together. They're different, uh, different ratios of uh, nutrients. So nitri nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And uh, this, the amount of solution that it comes with, I mean, it will use a few ounces to, to fill the whole thing up. And I imagine every couple weeks, you know, adding another half an ounce or something. So, you know, these bottles are filled to here. They'll, they'll last quite a long time. Uh, it says it's almost seven ounces in here. And so I'd imagine, you know, if we use an ounce a month, that's six months of uh, solution that we have left here. So we will have to experiment with, uh, you know, if you're growing different kinds of plants, like if we tried to grow something that fruited in here, like strawberries or something like that, we might need to adjust the, the nutrient solution a little bit or, or provide more, more phosphorus or potassium than nitrogen in different cases. But uh, this is kind of a general overall plant solution that, uh, that works pretty good. What a cool way for us to grow uh, our own salad greens and, and herbs and other things through the winter time. Uh, what a cool, just self-contained, easy to use. Anybody, don't, you don't have to know anything about gardening or hydroponics or anything to run this thing. It's completely automated and basically just add the solution, follow the instructions, plant your stuff and uh, wait to harvest. I love sharing these cool little ways to grow indoors. Um, as many of you know who've been following the channel, I, I grow in all different ways inside during the winter time and we've got the greenhouse now and so Nothing can stop us from, from growing food for ourselves. Um, and when we're talking about being sustainable and things like that, when you live in the nor northern climates, you have to find ways to uh, provide food for yourself throughout the winter time. And of course, growing in abundance in the summer and storing and canning and all that stuff is, is one way. Um, but providing fresh food is, uh, is a great thing to have available to you. You, you just don't get the same uh, taste and you don't get the same nutrients out of canned and preserved food as you do fresh. So uh, having a source of fresh food for us is is, is very important. Um, this thing is cool because it's completely self-contained. It is uh, so easy that like anybody can can do this. You don't have to know anything about nutrients or, or hydroponics or, or even growing anything. All you have to do is buy some seeds, follow the instructions, throw it in there and the stuff will grow. It's, it's super easy. And that's what I like about this is gardening indoors for anybody, hydroponics for anyone. It's, it's a, a super easy beginner level stuff and it's completely self-contained and automated. So we'll probably have some updates on this as uh, things get bigger and are growing more abundantly in here. We'll probably try some other types of crops in here, maybe some, some kales or spinaches or some herbs and other things like that on our next planting. Uh, you, you don't wanna plant things that are too tall in here, of course, because you only have about uh, maybe 14 inches of space in here, but uh, maybe some strawberries or some other fruiting things would be cool to try in, in the hydroponic system. And so uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to experiment with this. So I'll give you guys some updates on this system as we use it and experiment with it and grow food for ourselves more often. Uh, here in the winter time in Michigan. So of course, as always, we'll put a link to the, uh, the, the Green Joy little mini hydroponic system in the description as our second installment of the indoor grow week uh, moves on here. I've got one more cool way to grow indoors that I wanna show you guys later this week. So stick around for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little mini indoor uh, hydroponic system as well as the indoor aquaponic system that we did a few days ago. Uh, there'll be a link up in the uh, corner there to that video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video as well as all the SSL Family Dad videos. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.